office. All right, everybody, and welcome back to Q of the day. Welcome back to the office. So uh, the Q of the day is actually a question we have answered uh, in the past, uh, but I need to answer this question again because it keeps coming up. And the question is, where can I buy Theta? Now, I was talking about uh, Theta in the last two videos, and I kept getting a lot of comments like, hey, I'm in Texas, working on buy Theta. Hey, I'm in this country, working on buy Theta. So uh, I'd already done a video on how to buy Theta, which is a, uh, for Uniswap. Uh, you can watch that. I'll link that at the end. Um, but what I need to do is actually show you a, another way. I was, I was conversing with uh, uh, Digital Dave over at Crazy for Cryptos, and he said, hey, I saw your video on uh, Theta. Have you ever used my exchange? And I said, as a matter of fact, I did use your exchange, and I used it to buy Theta, and it worked out pretty well, very easy. He said, well, mention it to your subscribers if you could. I said, that's a good idea. So uh, I need to show you uh, how to buy Theta using Digital Dave's exchange. And uh, it's a pretty simple process, almost as easy as Uniswap. The difference is, is that uh, they are a brokerage, kind of like Voyager, and they find you the best rates uh, for to purchase uh, Theta and get it that way. So it's a, like I said, it's a very simplified process. And what I need to do is make sure that I, I do these videos and then put them in the playlist so that people can actually find them later on instead of just always asking in the comment section. And this is one of those, those issues with, with, with YouTube where it's kind of hard to make an education part uh, very comprehensive if you, you know, don't have uh, places to like direct people to because you just say, well, then you have to look through all the different uh, videos and whatnot. Uh, that's why I need to finish up that website. So all the information is right there. So what I'm gonna do right now is let's jump into my computer and I'm gonna show you exactly how to buy Theta using Digital Dave's Exchange. Uh, very simplified process, let's just do that. So first of all, the original video that I did was how to buy Theta step-by-step, step. and it goes over the Uniswap and how to set up your Theta wallet. So I'm gonna link that right now at the very top. It's gonna slide out, so take a look at that first, because that's what you're gonna need to figure out how to actually get your wallet in place. And all you gotta do is go to thetatoken.org, and that will be in the description. And if you just click on wallet uh, and just follow the directions in the, in the other video that we just shared, you should have no problems. But the big question then is, how do we use Crazy for Cryptos Exchange? Well, first of all, I'm just going to link it in the description as well, crazyforcryptos.com and forward slash exchange. So it works pretty much like Uniswap. It's just that uh, sometimes you get uh, some better rates. It just depends on what you want to use. So right here, and there's a lot of different ones you can go through, right? Depending on what you're going to use, you're going to want to send something for something, right? So let's use, let's see something real quick. Can I use Ada? Yeah, so all you gotta do, when, when you first put it in here, it says the popular choices are Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, but you can use anything that you really want to. They got Cardano, they got Theta, they got Synthetics. Let's see, they got, they got Tron. I mean, pretty much everything you think of is right there. Not everything, but a lot of them. To make this very simple, I'm just gonna use Bitcoin. And what we're gonna want is you get, let's go for Theta. So Theta's about 50 cents right now. So I don't want 21,000. I just want to get about 100 of them or so. So I usually just play around with it until I get figure it out. So 0 0.001, that's 21. 0.009, that's going to give me 191. Or I'll always make an even Steven and go 0 0.010 and 209. Okay, somewhere around there sounds good. And again, I just play around with it until I figure it out. And uh, that's what we got. So then we're going to click on exchange. And then just to be crystal clear, uh, this is on Crazy for Crypto's website, but what he did is he embedded this exchange. It's not like Dave created it, which would be very good if he could, but uh, it looks like it is a, a, a embed and it's an actually from Change Now. So we're going to click on Exchange, which is going to take us to the regular uh, exchange itself, which is Change Now. And it's pretty simple. So, I mean, what they do, uh, Change Now is just like uh, Voyager in the sense that it is a brokerage. So it's going to look for the best rate that it can find, kind of like how Hotels.com had aggregated all the different hotels and finds the best hotel and then uh, off you go so same type of thing here so we're gonna go for 0 0.01 gonna get about 200 theta uh, rough, roughly about 50 cents right now and what's gonna ask right here for is they're looking for the theta payout address so what we need to do is go to the theta our theta wallet which we can simply just uh, click on go to thetatoken.org on our wallet and again you just if you watch the video that i had done previously it'll show you how to set this all up it's very simple actually and then what it's going to ask you for is your key store file and your wallet or i'm sorry your password so the key store file of course i have saved that on my desktop i'll just load that up and it's just this little file that it gives you after you set it up it's going to ask us for a password sure 
and we're gonna click on unlock wallet. Now there's a lot of different ways to unlock your wallet. There's the mnemonic phrase, the private key, or the hardware. This is just the easiest way for me. It's up to you how you want to unlock it, and we go over that in the video. And there we are. So here is my Theta wallet. I got a whopping 2,500, not too shabby. And what I wanna do is, I don't wanna send any, of course, I want to receive Theta. So I'm gonna click on receive, and this is my handy dandy wallet. So I'm going to copy. Address has been copied. And what I try to do is, I try to remember like, like the first four and the last four, somewhere around there. So 0x93, uh, 082E. So I'm gonna go back to the actual exchange, and I'm gonna copy and paste. And 082E, and the first ones were 0x93, so that looks good. So I'm going to click Next. So here's the details. I'm going to send 0 0.01 Bitcoin, and I'm going to try to get, or I'm going to get, excuse me, 209 Theta. That's going to take about 10 minutes. We will see. So what I need to do is I want to click on Confirm. And here's where all the magic happens. This is the easy part. So all this, all this asking for is like, this is where you need to send your Bitcoin. And when I first did this myself, I was like, eesh, I don't know. But I've done this actually two or three times. Uh, no problem so far. It seems to be very accurate, uh, very quick. And then off you go. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my Celsius wallet. And this has for the two-factor authentication. So I'm gonna go to that app, which looks like that. And I'm gonna find Celsius, copy that. Come over here, click paste. So I'm gonna click on Bitcoin and here is my Bitcoin account. So what I want to do is I want to withdraw. So I'm gonna click on that right button there, withdraw. So the amount I've got is 0 .01, 0 .01, which is about $110, okay. I'm gonna click on check wallet address. So I could do two, one of two things. I could put in the withdraw address, which is 3PZCUHM, blah, 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 which I don't want to do because it's a lot of work. And if I had to do that, you know, multiple times a day, it's not going to happen. But underneath there, it says scan QR code. And that's the great thing about when you have a desktop app and you're using your phone. You're just going to click on scan QR code. And then what you're going to look for is the actual QR code, which is right there. And there it is. And what I want to do is I always want to verify it. So the first three or three or four, three PZC, three PZC. The last uh, four KB1Y, KB1Y. It looks pretty good. I could verify the whole thing, but it looks uh, legitimate. So let's scroll down and click on confirm withdrawal. Three PZC, KB1Y looks good. Confirm. It's going to ask me again for the two factor authentication. I'm going to go back, find Celsius, let it run out. 297013 and paste. You're about to draw $110, send email verification, yes. So this seems like a real pain when you're going through it, you know, because there's all these different steps, but it is for security, it is for your own good, so sure, I will let that happen. So now I'm gonna go do is go back into my email account and just look for that email so I can confirm this and confirm withdrawal request. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm going to confirm that just to make sure I'll click on this, just to make sure. Withdrawal confirmed. So a lot of different steps, a lot of security. That's okay. I'm okay with that. So now we do have two options. We can do one of two things. We can sit around and wait for this to confirm, exchange, and send to you. And then we can check our Theta wallet, or we can just put our email address in here. Dan Digital Asset News at gmail.com. Gmail. And it'll let us know when it is actually done. For right now, let's just wait a little bit and we'll come back. So just real quick, I wanna talk about how fast this actually was. So it was 4.22 p.m. when the withdrawal request came through and it was 4.28 when the withdrawal request was actually completed. So, I mean, six minutes is a pretty fantastic time work. I will uh, be happy about that. And then one, one thing I wanna jump back on and it's about uh, locking your address. And this, there's just some uh, information here it says right here, if this is your first withdrawal, this will become your locked withdrawal address. You can change this address through the app, press here to learn more about it. So when I click on that, it takes me to this little FAQ section and it says your withdrawal address gets locked for 24 hours after your first use. This security feature was implemented so in case somebody gets got access to your account, they couldn't withdraw your coins right away if they didn't whitelist your withdrawal addresses. However, if you have 2FA or two-factor authentication activated in your account, which I do, your withdrawal address will not get locked after the first year's use. However, if you initiate a withdrawal address change, it will get locked 
for 24 hours once you confirm the change via email. So I just want to make that very crystal clear because people like to just throw out that scam word all of a sudden, like scam, it wouldn't let me withdraw my Bitcoin. It's ridiculous. I can't believe this, blah, blah. Calm down. It's okay. It's a security feature. So anyhow, looking over this, it says, yeah, your, ex your exchange took six minutes. Thank you for using change now. No problem. Leave this review. Maybe later. Let's take a look at our Theta account. And there we are. 209 fresh theta into our account just four minutes ago fantastic all right so that's it so now you have options you have simple swap or you have the crazy for crypto it's changing out whichever one you want to use if you're more comfortable with those are the ones to do all right let's jump back all right so that's it for today uh that thanks for sticking with me to the very end of the video i really appreciate that that's amazing uh, also if you don't know there's a join now tab at the bottom right hand corner and um, you don't get anything special it's just like a buck 99 like a tip and uh, what i do is just give random shout outs so Random shout outs to Dominance Logistics. That's a good one. Justin Ross, Arky Garcia, Jorge Alba, Chuck C, David Sontang, Chris Alexander, and Rama Flash. So thanks so much for joining up. Really appreciate that. If you like these types of videos, there's gonna be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right. And I'm going to link the Theta video on one of these. And that is going to take you to the Dan Clips, which is just a, um, a shorter version of the primary channel Digital Asset News. It's just the clips to break down the very you know basics of it to save you time. So I'll put that in and that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one.